It's all over. The wedding's off. What happened? Stan quit his job today. Stan just wanted to follow his dream. You can't just not work. I am gonna work on my novel. Drop this ridiculous book idea and get a job like a grown-up, or you can get out! You quit your job, you call off your wedding, and you spend the rest of the day sitting around on Mitch's couch in your underwear, writing the next great American novel. Whoa, 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 back up, man. You quit your job? But now he has to start all over. The crowd here is really young. Not young. Right. And the friends he turns to for advice. Don't let Rachel hold you back. Tonight you're 22 again and haven't even met Rachel yet. This doesn't spell too bad, does it? No, you're south. Could use a little help of their own. Bang. Jeff, you're married. My mission is to get you laid tomorrow night. Apparently Jeff still has a couple of wild oats he needs to sow. <laughs> Give it up, Mitch. It's never gonna happen. Get out. You're brave. Some people might consider this sexual harassment. Hey, we should have lunch sometime. Okay. We like to think of ourselves as these free spirits. We just never let anybody get close to us. <laughs> They're about to discover they can't drown their problems anymore. We are young, we got time. The days are coming, but ain't more to leave behind. But I have been forgotten. I lost what I had got along the way. Now it's time to face them. Frog Island Films proudly presents the story of seven friends who are experiencing life after the buzz wears off and reality sets in. Go back to my place. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs>